This is the only planet known to have life on so far, and it has been around 4.6 billion years. Civilization has been produced for thousands of years. We are confidently assume that human is the master on the Earth, but the Earth is telling the people in a different way. That's not the case. Deforestation. Landslides are more frequent. Forest fires are everywhere. Tsunami, flood, melting glaciers, tornado, and heavy rainstorms. All the signs are warning from the earth. Our destruction of nature will cause consequences. Scientists are working hard. To reduce the rate of extinctions, but this is not enough. From the 18th century to the present, hundreds of years, the development of human technology has made significant changes to this world. At the meantime, it's also destructive to the Earth. Let's try to go back to the world that has no competition, no lies, only harmony and happiness. In the civilization, no matter who you are, you have been happy, in love, or in the friendship. But now, human beings are already wearing masks for themselves. We don't even recognize ourselves anymore. In a few hundred years. Most of the Earth's resources will be exhausted. By then, humans are only looking for other ways, or we can make migration to other planets to survive. Think back to thousands of years of civilization. The Earth's 4.6 billion years of life may has been fleeting, but the scar we made on the Earth are never going to go away. It just that there is a lot of things going on here. Everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone I heard of, all the men and women in history, all the hunters and heroes and cowards, the creator, the destroyer of civilization, all parents who are full of hope, all mortal teachers, all the supreme leaders, all the saints and sinners. Are all in this space. Everybody dies eventually. Life is not eternal. One day it will disappear. But consciousness is immortal. So I will leave you with the last sentence. What are you gonna say? I will see you guys in the comment section. Thanks for watching.